Hi all, today we are going to be going over some of my portfolios. I'm going to show you some of the great photos, at least I think they're great photos that I've been able to get throughout the years and kind of why I chose to tell that story. So today we're gonna to be talking about Greece. My husband and I went to Greece for our anniversary. Just kidding, we went to Greece for our honeymoon. Ooh. We went to Greece for our honeymoon and it was absolutely amazing not only was it amazing because obviously it was our honeymoon it's a good time but also because i love the ocean and look at all of this water oh it was so wonderful i look at my hair it's blue i felt like a mermaid which is pretty fun but these photos this selection of photos that i chose to help tell the story of the trip to Greece and the ecosystem and the natural world there, I chose these photos because they help to tell the best story of the history of the place. As you can tell, there's lots of these ruins and um, the mythological importance of Greece and Athens was one of the reasons why my husband and I wanted to go there. We both really like Greek mythology. So there's a lot of history to this place and a lot of natural beauty as well. And I really wanted to showcase that and be able to share another culture with you today. So I did get a ton of photos and yeah, lots of photos of my husband and I enjoying it, but of the natural world and the human and historical world, um, all kind of combined. And as you can tell, literally where the human and the natural world kind of merged together, I thought was really fascinating. So we've got, again, a lot of the more historical pieces here with the with the pottery um, and with the the ruins we did go to um, Cape Sunion which was where the temple to Poseidon was so that's where we got a lot of these beach beachy pictures and for me I found it interesting if you go to the Atlantic Ocean which is the closest ocean to Pennsylvania I you know I'm used to sandy oceans and here the the beach was very rocky which i thought was really interesting um it provided a whole different habitat for for animals i experienced sea urchins for the first time which was really um not fun at first and then it was fun it was not fun because i i grabbed one and it hurt it was very pokey um but after I figured out that, oh, that's not a rock in the water to kind of pull yourself forward on, that's a sea urchin. I actually did really enjoy examining the different wild animals that lived in the water there. And here is another example of a more marine species. I got to see a lot of shells. And if you know anything about Greek mythology and the color purple, for example, snails, play a really important role in creating purple dye and those snails were really hard to come by really hard to extract that dye from them so purple was the color of royalty if you had something that was dyed purple you had to be rich so to me knowing that story and knowing how much i love colors and then knowing that a color came from an animal I was excited to find any sort of mollusk or shelled little little guy that I could find, even if it wasn't the, you know, purple pigment snail. It was still, to me, part of that story and one of the reasons why, as a kid, I grew up loving wildlife and loving color and loving history, things like that, is because of that, that story of the snails and purple pigments. So it's very exciting to see those little guys. Um, also getting to see lots of the, the plants there where obviously this is a Mediterranean climate, so it was very dry there um, and pleasantly warm. It wasn't super hot. We went in the summer, so it was, it was hot, but it wasn't outrageous there. We weren't like dripping and sweat all the time. It was really nice, but a lot of the plants there then need to be adapted to that sort of climate. And so you can see there's a lot of shrubby plants 
um, let's you can see definitely here more of that low um, low lying this is sea lavender but um, low understory here they would be called understory plants but there is no overstory there is no canopy here um, or there is and they are just you know really small trees um, like your olives but a lot of them were very scrubby and some were prickly, but they were very sandpapery in feel or had spikes like here, this uh, succulent sort of cactus looking plant. Lots of lantanas were every, oh my goodness, lantanas were everywhere. This was their roadside planting were these lantanas and it was really interesting to see because I always think of them as like standard summer um, summer little flowers that people get not perennials they're just little things I've never seen them but here I got to see them in their full glory um, and thriving and it was really beautiful how they created kind of hedgerows of these lantanas Again, you see these these trees here. I believe that this tree here was the tallest tree. This uh, cedar was the tallest tree that I saw while I was there. Uh, just kidding. We did go to a botanical garden and there were some pretty tall trees there, um, but they were more like massive round trees. Um, so this actually might be still <laughs> one of the taller trees. Uh, so everything was very low to the ground, um, using water effectively. They're not growing up super tall and using energy inefficiently. But my trip here, I have lots of water photos. And for me, learning more about marine biology and being into marine science, the taking pictures of the water and just seeing, look how blue the water is. These photos are not really retouched. like. Um, my post-processing consists of like making sure the lighting is okay, uh, making sure the shadows are okay, uh, making sure that like uh, cropping to the proper aspect ratio. That's my sort of post-processing. And look at, look at this water. Look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And being able to see that as someone who really only gets to see the Atlantic Ocean off of New Jersey, it's kind of gray and murky. So seeing this was able to really kind of open my eyes to what different uh, bodies of water can look like. And I also, another body of water that I got to visit was Lake Wuliagmeni. And this lake here is actually spring fed and this was this right here this was the spa and i for i did not want to go to a spa i'm not into spas that's not my thing but this spa i would go back to every day if i could and the main reason is because it's all nature that's what this spa is is like you go there and you go to swim that is the whole purpose of this place. You go to swim and this mineral spring has lots of different um, minerals in the water that kind of help to rejuvenate the skin as well as fishies. These fishies are called the doctor fish, which I think is just adorable. Who wouldn't like that? And they actually will come up and they'll swarm you and they'll eat away at your dead skin cells which then obviously exfoliates you. So you get out of the water after swimming for like an hour and a half or whatever, and you get out and you feel like you're glowing because your skin just feels fresher because all these little fish came and ate away the dead skin cells. And if you look at this photo here, it's a photo of my husband's feet, but more importantly than his feet are the little creatures when it loads it's getting there. It's thinking. Um, more importantly, are all these little fishies. So here you have him being swarmed by the fish. And I didn't include this in my portfolio, mainly because this photo was not taken for composition or aesthetics. This was really just for a record for me to be able to see, look at all these little fishies. Um, 
So storytelling wise, it, it does tell a story of Lake Buliag many, um, but it didn't necessarily tell the story of Greece as a whole, which is why I didn't include it, but I did include this uh, kind of landscape shot. And it was really cool as we would be swimming around in Lake Bulliagmini, you would see all these different uh, rock pigeons that were able to nest right up against the rock face. And that was really cool to watch moms fly over and land in a nest um, that they built themselves. It was just an incredible experience as a whole. Again, everything here was amazing, being able to see all the different plants and seagulls that, you know, those I'm used to seeing at the Jersey Shore, but um, things like your rock pigeon that is not as, not as used to, or rock partridge. Uh, beautiful, vibrant dragonflies, which made sense to have such an insect predator as dragonflies like aquatic environments. So here in Pennsylvania, they're really into lakes, um, ponds, marshes, wetlands, things like that. And here you had lots, lots of water with the Aegean Sea that butted up against Greece or Athens where we were. So you have your standard pigeon, a huge, huge feral cat population, which I find a lot when I go overseas. Olive trees are uh, historical importance. If you think of the laurels or the olive wreaths, the olive branches, um, uh, that's very important to battle and being able to say, here's a truce, I, I extend my olive branch. So going up all these stairs here took a lot of energy and it was so high up that the altitude actually wound up getting to me of going up this hill so much and by the time I got there Zach was doing great my husband was doing great and so I made him a little olive crown and placed that on his head said that he was my Olympian but I hope you enjoy this little sneak peek this look through at my portfolio of Greece Photos here can be purchased in my print shop. You can get a wide variety canvas metal. The metal prints actually look really, really good. I have one uh, that we got for ourselves because why the heck not? And just the metal prints look so cool. I love the high definition of it. So I highly recommend that. A portion of the proceeds does go towards um, marine habitat preservation. So you can feel good while you shop, but I do hope you enjoyed. Other ways that you can support me is on Patreon or by coming to one of my events, uh, stickers, things like that. And your support will allow me to go to more places and be able to bring more education to you in terms of the wonderful environment and ecosystem found around the planet. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.